So let's look at a very basic hydraulic circuit. It's just really to recognise the um, components. This is uh, quite a simplified circuit. Lots of issues. Uh, perhaps after you've finished the course, you can come back and spot some of the things that shouldn't be here. But um, let's look at the components. Really, we've got um, this symbol is a, a reservoir, fluid reservoir, where the hydraulic fluid is stored. This would just be one tank in reality. It's drawn this way just for clarity. Um, so we have our fluid drawn from the reservoir by the gear pump. This is uh, represented a, an external gear pump. So the fluid is drawn up and around the gears. Um, that supplies our flow into the system. So we've now got oil coming into the system with absolutely nowhere to go. So what happens, we see the pressure gauge records the pressure and that's showing maximum maximum pressure at the moment because all the fluid is going out through our safety relief valve. Uh, without this valve the system would essentially explode or the pump would break. So we've got a pressure relief valve taking the fluid away. Not ideal. This would um, simply be generating heat and wasting energy. So um, wouldn't be ideal. The next thing we come to is our directional valve and this just controls the direction of the fluid. You can see we've got an actuator here, a cylinder. Um, so on the one side, when fluid comes into this side, it moves the cylinder down. When fluid is sent into this side, it moves the cylinder up. Notice there's different areas on this. There's a full area on this side, so getting lots of force down. A smaller area on the annular slide, so slightly lower force up. Now with these simulation modules you can actually operate the buttons and see what would happen. So we can operate there and the cylinder falls down because we're now putting fluid into that side of the cylinder and um, it comes out, returns back to tank from the annular side. Uh, if we operate it the other way, it comes back to the middle position and then raises because we're now putting flow into the annulus, comes out of the top. So we've got zero pressure on the top because it's connected with the reservoir and we've got maximum pressure on the bottom because now the cylinder can't move, there's nowhere for the fluid to go again. So this is why we need our pressure relief valve. So if we look at the graph here we can see that the cylinder is moving this speed section is a constant speed because the flow comes straight from the pump. There's no variable displacement so the pump can only produce a set flow based on what speed it's doing. We come here and we should notice that actually the cylinder would slightly drop because there will be a little bit of leakage across this valve and when we operate that it falls very quickly. Um, this simulation really is um, is designed to show what happens when you don't control a cylinder properly. There's no valve here controlling the speed, so the load would try and run away with itself, and um, in reality, it would suck. Or uh, wouldn't, we wouldn't want to do this. So, uh, showing that it's not controlled properly, it's falling down to the bottom because it should, because the area is larger and there's only a certain amount of flow coming in. It should actually go slower. So, uh, not an ideal situation, but. Just to review, really we should be looking at, we've got our reservoir, we've got our pump supplying the flow, gauges to tell us what the pressure is, what's happening inside the system, got our safety relief valve, got our directional valve controlling the direction of flow, and we've got our cylinder, which um, raises our and lowers our load, and would raise at the same speed, whatever the bass. So something else to look at back on the sites so in the training module there's a lot more content shows you some simple animations for how pressure is transmitted throughout the fluid throughout the system so hydraulics fluid is considered incompressible for most systems apply pressure in force in one place and it puts that same amount of power and energy to another part of the system um, and we've got more text just explaining the various 
components and the simulations that you can play on and operate yourself. Enjoy!